Welcome back to Nippon Art Program. My name is Honjo Satoko. Please call me Sophie. I'll be your art interpreter. Today I'm at um, Showa Forest Muto Jinki Sculpture Museum. Let me introduce the owner of the Nagai Art Gallery, Ginza, Mr. Nagai Yunosuke. Hello, everyone. And the, today's artist next to me is Muto Jinki himself. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. <laughs> Buongiorno. In this program, I would like to invite you to join me as I navigate through the world of Japanese art that I say Nippon art. Nippon means Japan in Japanese. I hope you will discover more about the artist and learn about their works and enjoy the rich world of Nippon art. I'm an art lover but still so much to learn when it comes to Nippon art. I hope all of you enjoy these video clips and along, along with me. So um, it's outside uh, here in Tokyo, uh, Akishima. And it's very forest and uh, nature around me. Let me talk about uh, Muto Junkyu. Muto Junkyu is a Japanese sculptor originally from Sendai, Miyagi Prefecture. He relocated to Europe and created marvelous masterpieces such as Saku Wind Packs 2000, which was installed at the Popa Palace in the Vatican, and Saku Wind Pack 2005. In 2021, March 11th, Saku Wind 2011 was installed at the National Memorial Park in Ishinomaki to commemorate the victims of the tsunami of 2011. Muto read design at Tokyo University of Fine Art. Although it was not his major, he also learned oil and Japanese painting at school. From his perspective, there is no border between painting and sculpture. Even though he was studying design as his major, he chose to create an oil painting as his final project. For him, painting was the doorway to becoming an artist. After his graduation, he moved to Europe to develop his own style of figurative paintings and established his name as an artist with his fresco, The Memories of Walls. He thinks paintings are mysterious in their contradiction of being able to create multidimensional space on a two-dimensional canvas. He called this freedom of the canvas his secret of guarding and enjoyed playing in paintings but ultimately decided to move into sculpture to lift his creations out of his canvas and into the three-dimensional natural world that inspires him. He sees his role as an artist is to express his imagination but gives the viewer freedom to explore the art he creates and find its words with their own eyes. Muto Junki lost his father when he was young and was brought up by his strict mother who taught him ink calligraphy. He suffered from sickness in childhood while he was confined to his bed for what felt like an eternity. He developed a habit of having conversations with nature. For him, the most beautiful things in the world are found in nature. He says we can learn lots of things from nature and the spirits exist in nature. Therefore, he tries to hear the voice from the storm before curving. This animistic belief, or I say natural piety, is found in Japanese Shintoism and has a strong influence in his creative process. Muto Junki accepts nature positively as it is. To create nature, he waits with patience until nature comes to him. He works in harmony with nature. His series, Circle of Wind, gives form to the invisible breeze. It cautions us against anthropocentrism and fosters a hope of people living in greater harmony with nature. あの、あの、
、えー、あるんですこで,でこちらの作品がですね、うん、ある意味でこの色もありますし、うんうん、あとあの先ほどのあのー、作品だと中がくり抜かれている形なんですこれはあのこういう形なんですが、はいはい、これについてのちょっとお話どういう作品なのか。This work is different from the work previously I introduced the window circle.、Um, how come? How why why it's it's different? あのーえー、あれですね例えばこれデッサンをするときにですね、うん、こう紙としましょうかこう、うん、まあこうやって、えー、墨でスーッと線を引きますね、うん、こういうふうにそしてこれは輪郭線ですね、うん、墨の線がこう出ますねでその墨の線をそのまんまこのあの形にしようとくり抜きになりますねですからあのバチカンとかそういうのはみんなくり抜きですね墨のの線をそのままあの立体にすするわけですところがくり抜かずにこの輪郭線の中を残すと今度は同じ形がですね、はい、全く違ったものになるという、うん、つまりポジとネガということですそれは墨というデッサンをするからできるんです。It's same and opposite. So outside, if you think of this is one Paper work and、uh, drawing, calligraphy, painting, and if you make a line like this, and outside is the circle of wind,、mm -hmm. and inside is this one, this work. So it's like a、um, positive and negative、uh, partner, so it becomes one. But when you draw it, it's the same figure. <laughs> うん、それってある意味でね前回の対談でもその日本人ならではの,その水墨というねことをそういった彫刻に生かすという話がありましたけどまさにこれ日本人である武藤さんにしかできない非常に柔らかい、はい、ですねあの意図せずにそうな,なったんですねうん consciously that somehow I have created this work outside the wind circle of wind and inside this title disc wind そうディスクウィンドスだな、はい、だからね見てごらんこうやってね彫刻のね形がねほらどんどん変わるでしょうほらわあ、wow, ね、背景ねバックもいいですねこれねいいでしょう、えー、柔らかいほら、うんうん、まあどっちが正面とかね裏はないんだよ、oh, there is no back. Or front, front or back? No. no. So, 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 so you can see from the, from the back or front, you can call it front or back. <laughs>、ね mm, this is the abstract sculpture. So, 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 the uniqueness and uh,、um, how you see is up to you. You enjoy yourself for, to understand it. You know, it's the abstract. So, yeah. だからぐるっと三百六十度こう楽しめるのね。わ、wow, あ、そう。If you put it at home, you can enjoy from three hundred sixty degree all around in for yourself. だからほらよくあのラフのこんな彫刻あるでしょ。女性のラフのね。Oh yeah, the naked women. そういうのお尻向けてこうやったら失礼だからって絶対正面を見せるわな。正。これジョークよ。Um, but it's true. It's true, and if it's、uh, the, like、uh, the figurative sculpture, like a naked woman, and you don't want to see it from the back, you know, you, you, see, you don't want to see the bottom of the lady, but this one you, you see from any different angles. So that's uniqueness as an abstract sculpture. それでまあ長い画廊での展示においてはですね、こちらにある彫刻。まあ、のまあ本当に小さいね、まあ、それこそ世界中にある聖地にある彫刻の本当にまあ原型であるマケットをあの長い画廊で一堂に見ることができるとでまた手にすることができる買うことができるっていうことですね。はい、そう、We're gonna be holding the exhibition 武藤人気 in 銀座、uh, 長いアートギャラリー and you see the、uh, same sculpture the miniature of the same sculpture and you can purchase them そしてあとその積載画と、えー、水墨画ですね、はい、展示します、はい、まあ販売します。Also as well as the paintings on stone and the ink calligraphy paintings as well, so you can see and and touch perhaps as well.、Um, so so please visit and see the exhibition at Nagai Art Gallery in Ginza.
Any questions about Nippon Art are welcome and please feel free to contact us. The link to Nagai Art Gallery is posted down there. And don't forget to read Sophie's Nippon Art blog on Creative Journey Japan too. 最後までご視聴いただきありがとうございました。チャンネル登録をよろしくお願いします。Thank you very much for watching the video clip. Nippon Art, please subscribe it. 次の動画もお楽しみに。